So today we have a white wine. Um, this wine is clear. It's day bright or star bright. It's very, very reflective. Uh, the color at the core is uh, sort of a medium straw with hints of green. Um, there's a tiny bit of gas here, just indicating a little submerged CO2 in the wine on the nose. The wine is clean and sound with moderate plus intensity and really youthful, fresh aromas. There's also some really fresh um, citrus notes, some uh, Meyer lemon, lots of stone fruit, peach and apricot, which is very ripe, almost candied, but like a little bit of yeast, like kind of reminds me of this sourdough apple bread we used to make in culinary school. Um, in terms of minerality, there's a fresh river rock minerality. It's like crushed sea shells and a little um, like salty briny. Not really getting any evidence of oak. And onto the palate. So this wine is clean and sound and dry. It's very, very juicy. Um, high acidity. Um, really, really balanced out by this juicy fresh fruit. So there's the juiciness of the acidity to the wine and the fruit was a little fresher than it seemed on the nose. So it's still very, very ripe. And I get those hints of, of peach and apricot that are nice and ripe and juicy and fresh, but almost a little candied note to it, especially on the finish. The wine is a very good quality, a moderate plus complexity, moderate plus concentration, moderate plus length. Um, initial conclusion. I think this is an old world wine um, based on that sense of minerality that I get. And even though this is very fruity, there's a restraint um, to the fruit. I'm going to take this wine to Spain. Uh, this wine is an Albarino from Spain, from Rias Baixas. Seems good to me. And in terms of a subregion, Orosal or Valdosal, nice closer to the ocean. Uh, current vintage, so 2015, I'm thinking it has a little depth of color. Do Forero Alberino. All right, Rias Baixas, 2015. So I guess that extra color was a little age. And from Subzone Salnes. Perfect. Awesome. I love that producer. I think I'll have some more. Cool.